Hello, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. You might have noticed I'm in 0.21. I have been in 0.21 for a little while now. Let's look at applicants. Courage and Stupidity. He'll be useful for when we need a test pilot. Uh, this one? Oh, he's very smart. He'll, he'll be a designer or something. I don't know. I'm just, you know what? Hire all of them. Fuck it. We need as many victims as we can get. Anyhow, as you can see, we have no one assigned down any missions, no one lost. This is a new game. Um, unfortunately, well, basically, I am resuming the Empire. Unfortunately, due to the changes in 0.21, my old save file was not able to be upgraded. I tried to use the upgrader, and it just crashed the game instead. So, we are starting over, and the very first thing we are doing is um, defending Kerbin from launches by another faction that has arisen. There is a Science Council that is trying to undo the great work of the Empire. And so we're going to create this debris field in low Kerbin orbit to try and stop their launches. What about our launches? Well, our launches are invincible to our own debris, of course, because that's how physics work, right? So anyhow, let's get to launching this. I just realized I forgot to uh, give this a proper name. So we're going to rename the vessel to... Well, it's going to be debris first, and we're going to call this uh, D1 because it's going to be the debris one debris debris i keep saying debris and that's wrong and it makes me upset anyhow i'm gonna go through several launches d1 through however many launches i end up going through one immediately right after the other until i have um Kerbin surrounded by a debris field and then hopefully that will stop the enemy launches of course it won't and i'm making this all up but um wait i wasn't supposed to reveal that um, yes, it totally will work, and it will not harm our own launches, and it will be interesting or something. Yes, because I am evil. Did I mention I'm evil? Yeah, so, I'm trying to be evil, and it's not going so well so far because everything's upside down. I mean, seriously, what what is this crap? This is such an ugly spaceship. Don't you agree? But fortunately, it's just for launching debris in orbit, and debris doesn't have to be pretty. Which is very fortunate for us because, yes, stuff. No. What? I don't know what I'm saying. I accidentally launched into orbit a little too steep for my own taste, uh, which is... <laughs> we don't even show up on the map because we're debris. We're flying debris actually right now because I marked it as such. So that's kind of hilarious like that. But um, that's alright. Let's see. Uh, Fuel reserves good, apoapsis is good, actually needs to be higher, so let's burn a bit more. Did I just run out of fuel? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Let's get back on 90, because I accidentally hit buttons, because I'm like that. And now we ditch that! Yay! Science! That's how it works, right? I just need the paraapsis to get above 70. I guess I need to redesign this between now and the next launch, because that's kind of bad that it's like that, and we could run out of power. Uh, we could run out of power right now and it would be so bad. Uh, I have to turn on the engines again to keep us from losing power. I'm just, I'm gonna have to give us an unstable orbit, I guess. That's rather unfortunate. Hold on, maybe I can... We're, we're gaining power again, so... What I can do is I can turn us to retrograde, and as long as that stays above 70... Whoops! Oh, <laughs> this is this is not how you fly a rocket properly, folks. I'm just saying. Oh, we're st we're at prograde again. What the hell? This is not this is not going well for our first launch here. Um, so what I'll do is stop rotating. Hopefully, eventually. Um, right. Well, I guess I will just leave it at that. So. Let's go back to the map view, and we're almost on the dark side of the planet. Uh, I apologize for that, but anyhow, what we do now is we start rotating, and before we run out of power, we need to ditch all this stuff, and we're running out of power quite fast, so it's kind of worrisome, and there's the sun. As you can see, this generates a debris field. I just need to make sure I launch it all before we run out of power. And the interesting thing about those, when they ditch, they seem to give you a bit of forward momentum when they ditch. Which is kind of interesting. There we go. 
So we now have the first of many debris fields. And wow, my frame rates. Oh, so bad. Um, so now I will go to the space center. And now that we're at the space center, and now that we're at the tracking station, we can see that we have left 163 pieces of debris in an orbit. And now what I'm going to do is, first of all, revamp that... Whoa! What? Oh. Wow. All the periapsis and apoapsis just appeared. And wow, some of them go very low, but they're all good. Um, wow. <laughs> so, we have all this debris that we've launched, and I'm going to just keep launching more of those until I have a solid ring around Kerbin. It's going to take a while, and there's going to be a lot of stuff, and it might lag really hard, and that's going to suck if it lags really hard. And now that we have a fairly thick ring of debris around Kerbin, try to ignore the continuity gaps. We need to now launch a satellite into orbit to monitor the ring of debris. So we are taking this satellite that I have designed here, and uh, we're going to use laser cameras to uh, track debris and monitor how everything goes. Of course, I need to get everything set up before we can launch. Now, some might say we should have launched this monitoring satellite, monitoring satellite first. I mean, what if we were in to encounter some of the debris and uh, the satellite could be destroyed? Luckily, everyone who has pointed out that has been round up and shot for disobeying the Emperor. Now this is of course a fairly standard launch. Uh, we go up to 10 kilometers, trying to limit our speed as it gets too high. Uh, do a gravity turnover to uh, about 45 degrees and burn off the remainder of the first stage. And uh, then we burn off the second stage, pointing at 90, uh, straight on the horizon. Um, you know, it's not the typical launch, it's not the most efficient launch, I kind of just wanted it to be over with. I just kind of wanted to uh, get it into orbit fast, and it has more fuel than necessary, necessary, uh, more delta V than necessary, and can just, you know, rotate over and do the stuff. Yeah, I feel very strange talking like this. And now we get to the part where there's live commentary. Uh, I'm just uh, playing around with the camera here. Uh, as you can see, I'm enjoying these laser cameras. Uh, their ability to lock onto things, uh, and just moving them around a bit, you know, just generally having fun, and of course here we're positioning for our final burn to orbit, um, cause our periapsis at this point is still too low in the atmosphere, but there you go, nice little kick up to a thousand meters per second, I overdid it slightly, but that's alright. Moving the cameras around some more, and there we go. Thanks for watching, see you in space.